my name is Mark Gonzalez, 7055 Glencoe Street, Commerce City, 80022. May I approach Ms. Lewis to have the board members and uh, Dr. Chandler copy? Just to address the board and Dr. Chandler this evening, as you know, we have a group that consists of approximately 800 residents from Hanson Pre-K through 8 and around the Adams County School District 14 community. We are extremely concerned by several recent events that relate to Hanson and the rest of the district. We would like to begin dialogue, open dialogue, so that we can resolve these conflicts in a manner that is satisfying to all parties. As such, we respectfully request a meeting with Dr. Chandler and members of the board at your earliest convenience. Our community is concerned about a variety of issues. First, we are concerned that the school district is contemplating changes to the ESL program without the support of or input from the community. Although the district stands, was that no decisions have been made regarding the ELA program, the district has previously signaled an eagerness to do away with the current system and move toward a less effective emergent system. We also are aware that a new ELA policy has been proposed and recommended to the Board of Education on meetings February 10th and February 24, 2009. <coughs> Second, we are troubled by the district's timing of placement of a principal on administrative leave right before the CSAP. Third, we are opposed to the elimination of the full year calendar at Hanson, which has worked very well for our families. Fourth, we are outraged that some of our students have been punished for speaking Spanish at school. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, we are concerned that our requests to meet and work together to resolve these issues have consistently been ignored. As all of you are aware, because of these concerns, many of us have opted our children out of the CSAP testing over the last two weeks. At the pre press conference that we organized on March 3rd to voice these concerns, it was said that the district was frustrated that we had been unwilling to sit down at the table to air our concerns. We respectfully disagree. It has always been our first priority to be open and honest and have respectful and collaborative dialogue with the district to ensure that our shared interest in our children's success is best served. At this point, we reiterate our desire for dialogue and request a meeting with you, Dr. Chandler, on the board. Specifically, we request that this meeting be scheduled before the board meeting on the week of 16th of March, if that is possible, so we could begin working productively together in advance of that meeting. In particular, we are eager to discuss our four demands, which you are very, very well aware of. The timing issue right before the CSAP, which disrupted our school. The four-year curriculum be reinstated, and then we be included in the process of reforming the ESL program that our children not be retaliated against for taking a stand to defend their education. We know that everyone in Adams 14 wants all students in the district to succeed and thrive. As parents, we ask only that our voices be heard, our concerns be respected, and our students be provided with the best quality education available. We welcome the opportunity to have a mediator from the Office of Civil Rights or the Colorado Department of Education. We definitely look forward to meeting with you at your earliest convenience to begin working together to make this a reality. Finally, there is one question. It has been the district stance that opting out of CSAP would indeed hurt the students and Hanson be it even a low quote, lower performing school than it already is. Although in a lot of areas we do we do agree. However, I do have a question. If it is, it's not only hurting Hanson and the students; it's also hurting our district as a whole. And I'm wondering why the sense of urgency for open dialogue to address this issue before it happened wasn't met. We do know and agree that some of this may be lack of education on certain policies and procedures, lack of information. We're reaching out to you to give that to us. 
if we are not granted the time for you to explain that to us, we can only act in an emotional manner, which sometimes may not be the correct one, but with our kids at heart, will always be the end result. We respect your time and your dedication to this community, but we look forward to meeting with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez.